Today we're going to talk about the distance formula. The distance formula helps us find the linear distance between two points in a coordinate plane. So let's say we're given these two points and we want to find this linear distance between the two. Uh, we'll call that distance D. So we have two options. We can either use the distance formula, which requires us to know the ordered pairs for both of these points, and then you plug it into some formula, or we could use Pythagorean theorem. Um, but in order to use the Pythagorean theorem, we need to know, we need to first of all have a right triangle. So in order to do that, we need to know this distance here, which is the distance from this point to this point, how much we move horizontally. And we need to know this distance here, which is the amount that we move vertically to get from this point to this point, or from this point to this point. Um, and so this distance, right, the vertical change is the change in the y coordinates. And we use the Greek letter delta. So delta is a triangle like this. So delta to represent the change in. So this is the change in the y coordinates. And then this is delta x or the change in our x coordinates. So if we were trying to find uh, the length of d using the Pythagorean theorem, it would look like this d squared equals the change in our x squared plus the change in our y values squared. And that would be our distance, but actually not quite the distance. This is the distance squared. So if we wanted to get the actual distance, we would just have to take the square root of both sides and we would get d from this. So we would have d equals the square root of this whole quantity. So it's the change in our x squared plus the change in our y squared. And that would be our distance. Um, but this really only works if we know what this length is and we know what this length is because then we could plug it in and square it. Uh, but if we're given a problem like this where we need to use the distance formula, most likely we don't know those lengths. So we're going to have to find some way to represent the change in x and the change in y. So when we're doing this, um, so let's give these two points some arbitrary ordered pairs because we need to know the ordered pairs for the distance formula. So I'll just call this point here x sub 1, y sub 1. It's our first point. And I'll call this other point x sub 2, y sub 2. So we have our two points here. Uh, and in order to find this horizontal distance, so you can see that if I were to move straight down, I would have the same x coordinate here, right? It would be x sub 2. And if I were to move straight down from this point here, I would have the same x coordinate, x sub 1. So this length is just the same as the length on the number line here, right? That same length there. Now, if you remember how to find the distance between two numbers on a number line, uh, which is our change in x, remember we just take the difference of our coordinates. So the change in x is x sub 2 minus x sub 1. And then similarly, we could do the same thing with our y's, right? We would just see that over here this point and then this point are going to be the same distance as these two points and we could find that linear distance. So our change in y is the same. We take the difference of our y coordinates, y sub 2 minus y sub 1. So now that we have these two values, we can just take this and substitute into what we have up here to get the distance formula. So we have this d equals the square root of, so the change in x, so we have the change in x here, which is x sub 2 minus x sub 1 quantity squared, plus our change in y, which is here, so change in y is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 quantity squared. And then this is the distance formula. So you use the distance formula if you are given the two ordered pairs of points 
and you don't have you don't know these other lengths so you just substitute those values in and simplify and then you have the distance between those two points.